Hello friends, it's Yuris here and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk channel where we share our thoughts and experiences to help you get around in this wonderful craft of tattooing and maybe to help to mess less stuff up because that's also important. If that seems like a thing for you then consider subscribing to this channel and we will have more of this stuff in the future or even in the past. And today we will talk about fashion thing that sometimes functions very well and sometimes it's not really necessary or it can make even things worse. So today we will talk about aprons. You have probably been in a tattoo shop where you see tattooist takes really like serious pride and he's setting up ritual. He sets up the stations, then he goes to the side where special place for his apron, he takes it off, puts it on, wraps around sits down and machines go buzz. So that's really the thing that we will talk about today. We will talk about aprons, what types are out there, what are my favorite ones, what makes sense to use and what would be the safest one. So let's start from the worst and go up to the best option and in the end I'll point out one really common mistake and also give you a little tip how to sort things out if you don't have apron around but you you, you want to things keep clean on yourself. So stick to the end for that. So first thing I would like to mention, it's like when tattooists misunderstand the concept of apron because they think the only reason why they have an apron is to protect their cool jeans or fancy tight pants or something like that. And what happens on the top side of it doesn't really matter. They think the only thing is for them to keep them clean from the cruel outside world. And they are usually those cool aprons that you see sometimes with some like embroidered shop names with some leather st things with stamped in brands and logos with fancy like brass buttons and all that so that thing is cool and also probably pretty expensive but think about it how often it's been washed or if it has been washed in general like at all and also those aprons they are made from fabrics that most accent is that they look cool they're not like water resistant or waterproof so if something spills on them it still soaks through only maybe slower and that's about it and as i mentioned if that thing is not washed so there's sprayed inks and all that stuff from previous customers and sometimes the tourists walk around with them they also like touch some stuff and and there's things like ink and blood and all that from previous customers and know that i say customers that's more than one so it's few people been around that place and it's basically like a dirty cloth that's been rubbed on many people so think about it and even if you wash them how clean they really get and what's the right settings to wash all that nasty stuff out so keep those things in mind the ones i talk about they usually look something like that and then they might have like some cool brand on them like we have, for example, here, there's Dickies, which is nice and popular brand amongst tattooists. Sometimes they're custom made, but they are more okay. Like if you work with tools like this, if you do some woodworking projects, something like to keep sawdust off you. But if you work with stuff like this and on the things like these, this is not real hand, don't worry. Then you should consider what's what's going on. So enough with this stuff, let's jump to the next type of aprons and they would be a bit more suited for tattooing and they are specially made for that, keeping in mind that they are made from some materials that is easy to clean, they can be sprayed down with some disinfectants and nothing absorbs into them, so that would be this kind of stuff. This is a little pretty dress thing, but it made, it's made from vinyl it's been used a bit so you can see that there's some ink stains so this is not a perfect example but it's a good one and this is made from like vinyl or some materials that are safe to be sprayed with all the strong disinfectants and all the things necessary so they are pretty cool and pretty practical the only downside would be like maybe the human factor where you can just simply forget to clean it after every session or with time if they wear off there can be some cracks or something where some stuff can get in or like leak or, or soak through but that is pretty okay option and if you have it and if it's made for that and if it's safe to use then why not and now my favorite apron and that would be this blue piece of plastic which is single use disposable apron 
There's a hole for your neck, wraps around and you can work with it. After it's done, you dispose it and you forget about it. Yes, it's plastic. Yes, it doesn't look so cool. Yes, things might get a bit sweaty on a hot day and it's least of a headache. It's so you don't have to remember stuff. You just have to put it on and take it off when you don't need it. And that's it. Out of all this, I would definitely go with single use stuff. You can dispose it easily and they're pretty cheap. So you can change them as often as you need to, like you would change gloves, for example. Or at least every time you leave a station and you come back to it and you work to it. Good stuff. And now let's throw in a little horror story. So that would be with those aprons that can be used many times. And what you see with the two is they set up the station, they put their apron on, they start to work, but they take it off only when they're done with the tattoo. And sometimes they will even go out for a cigarette break or have a little coffee outside and then come back to station. They'll go to like a waiting area, they go outside, they'll come back in. So that makes the whole point of using it in terms of cross-contamination definitely bad if not even worse than not having an apron on because if you don't have it on you're at least more careful you 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 care more about what can drip on you once you have that protective part on people tend to get more careless and they don't care if there's a bit of ink and if they go outside they don't care if there's a bit of cigarette ash on it and then that stuff gets brought in other stuff gets brought out you get the point. So that would be the stuff where it's very common mistake and makes having apron very pointless or maybe even more bad than not having it at all. Seed of thought. And now, as I promised, a little tip of what to use if you don't have apron, but you suspect that session will be messy and you want to keep your fancy pants clean. I picked up this trick from my colleague Uldis and this is just using dental bib. This is pretty cheap version of dental bib, but the idea of that one side is something plasticky that doesn't let liquids through. On the flip side, there's something paper-like or something that will absorb any liquid if it drips on it, so it's not running just down. Like I saw my colleague doing, just put it on your tie, wrap it around with some tape, and it's there. And once you're done with your tattoo or you need to go somewhere, rip it off and put a new one on. And this is pretty, pretty useful stuff. You can use it a lot in tattooing. You can put it on your tie. You can put it on your arm if you need to protect this part, if you're going all over some tattoo. So this is cool stuff. Dental bibs must have in any shop. Also, you can cover top of stations of them. Again, if you spill a bit of ink, it stays all there. Pro tip, always have dental bibs. And now you, my friends, tattooists and tattoo enthusiasts, what do you think about aprons? What's the best one to use? Or if there's a point of use any, or if there's some alternative methods that you would suggest or some new brands or new types of aprons out there, leave a comment down below in the comment section and we will check them out. And like always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of this stuff. And if you want to get notified when new episodes come out, there's a little bell icon somewhere next to the subscribe button. Press that. And thanks a lot for watching. See you in the future. Bye.